Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shah Yusuf and welcome to this week's Shah Yusuf show. Today my guests represent the Bangladesh Regeneration Trust UK. The Bangladesh Regeneration Trust UK is a charity which carries out various forms of regeneration work in Bangladesh. They are known for their work in education and in health. It also provides a platform for young second, third and fourth generation Bangladeshis to support various social development initiatives across Bangladesh. Now, let's look at a short video about BRT UK's work. Mohammed Mamunur Rashid. Mohammed Mamunur Rashid. Yes. 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 Yes.
came next. This is called like grabbing the biscuit with your mouth, basically. The one that grabs the biscuit goes to the next round until all the biscuits are gone. But I don't know exactly all the rules. We'll find out as we go along. That was a very informative video. Um, let me introduce you to my guest today from BRT UK. Um, can I actually, uh, can I request you guys introduce yourselves to our viewers? Yeah, why not? Uh, good evening and assalamu alaikum to everyone. Shubaratlo uh, for those who are watching from maybe beyond the shores of the UK. Uh, my name is Yahya. Uh, I've been in the UK since the age of nine, uh, too old now and uh, uh, you know gone through education and so on and so forth my role with the brt uk violence regeneration trust uh, is currently the secretary of brt uk and alhamdulillah through your help and support and duas i was involved in starting this small but consistent initiative to support the needy people of bangladesh who we are connected to and uh, uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is <laughs> anwar ali and um, I am a BRT participant and a volunteer at the moment um, and I've only <coughs> um, been with them a very short amount of time but um, you know I'll be <laughs> taking part in further projects and you'll be seeing more of me in the future. Looking forward to it. Okay, next. Come on good viewers, as you probably know <coughs> I am Nazir. Uh, for my sins I am the chair of <laughs> BRT UK. Currently um, coming to an end, inshallah. <laughs> but um, I have been in a very good journey with the brothers here. And as we go along, we want to share this with our viewers. Uh, how we have managed to come this far and what we want to contribute to the UK and inshallah Bangladesh. Thank you very much. Uh, before we go on to talk about Bangladesh, uh, can you just tell me a little bit of information about BRT UK? I'll let uh, do it. He, he, <laughs> he can talk a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, BRT UK, I'm Rush Ruhur 2009. Uh, 2009, I'm Rush Ruhur Salam, the UK register for Salam, uh, 2010. So almost, inshallah, a decade is ago, we are going to be celebrating our humble uh, efforts uh, for a decade very soon, inshallah. And uh, it all started off with uh, someone like uh, myself uh, who. Uh, you know, grew up in Bangladesh up till the age of nine. So what this yeah. meant was, within that age of nine, I had the opportunity to go to hold the langol with my uncle and the moi, uh, sit on the moi and, you know, like let the cows pull uh, <laughs> over, over the over soil, experience. basically. Right. And <laughs> even, even, even to actually pick grass for the uh, cow, cows, for mi yeah, mil yeah. milking cow, basically. So these are all very, very deeply entrenched within me, even using the current zal to catch uh, fish, fish. In, in especially in rainy period 
I know that Azal is illegal, but even then, I think everybody <laughs> still uses Azal. Azal is illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it the current something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, it's, uh, I think uh, current means... It's a machine. Uh, machine made. Sito, sito, yo, yeah. okay. I don't know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so all, of this, all of this stuff, uh, you know, it's deeply ingrained within my system. And thanks to my late uncle, uh, Haji Loilumi, who passed away in uh, 1998, Uh, I was honored to be at his funeral and to be honest he because my father lived in this part of the world so therefore my uncle was almost de facto father for me like uh, you know he took so much gave me so much love and care okay. within that that age period up to nine you know he he, he built a, a such a strong connection with Bangladesh and, so, and it still remains within that I can still remember and visualize me having a scuffle with one of my Lagabari uh, <laughs> batizas uh, over Nera, you know, the, uh, after, uh, you know, the hay, Nera. straw. Oh, yeah, Basically straw, what yeah. happened was, uh, uh, you know, I was picking them to bring it to our bari for them to use to burn uh, uh, for the mm. cooking. And he started a fire and, he, you know, he ended up wasting my Nera. <laughs> and we got into a kusti, basically. <laughs> okay. And then I ended up breaking my arm. So these oh, yeah. are all reminiscences. I've got a similar story as well, you know. <laughs> yeah. When I was about six, that's when we first came to this country. But just before we came, um, I was making this, you know, the raft, Bura, you know, yeah. with, with the uh, banana plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, my son of had a die in his hand. So I was, you know, with my feet, I was pointing to him, just chop it there, like a mark on the, on the <laughs> coconut, on, on the banana plant. And so I was hitting the plant, he hit my feet. Oh. And it kind of split uh, open. Your feet, actually. Yeah, yeah, actually cut oh, your feet. Got the mark. <coughs> But wow. I was so fearful of my dad telling me off, I started yeah. swimming across to the, the <laughs> bill. You know the bill? Yeah, yeah. 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 Bill is yeah. not a small place. No. It's But not that deep, right? <laughs> and then, you know, when people realized what I was doing, they all came running and looked, you know, to grab me from the water. And I still got this memory. You know? Do you still have that scar on your feet? I'm sure you that, guys are. Uh, miss those uh, no, memories we, i mean hence we are involved with brt uk and these are some of the things listen do you still have that scar on your feet i do have i tell yeah. you all the people who are watching <laughs> unfortunately all the uh, people watch all the people who are watching what you do is message us today and then go to the facebook of brt uk Uh, BRT K1. He'll put, <laughs> He'll put it up. He'll put it up. Will you put it up? If yeah. I get yeah. yeah. more people. than uh, uh, say 100 likes, yeah. I'll show a picture of my feet. On, on, <laughs> on the okay. Facebook page of BRT UK1. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. good. That's okay. good. Okay. Uh, can I request uh, viewers? Uh, viewer can join us uh, with the WhatsApp call. Um, you will see on the screen. Uh, yes. Uh, 7, 0744 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, In the studio, you can talk to these guys. You can ask about BRT UK, what they're doing at the moment, and what's your, their future plan. You can ask any kind of questions, really. Not difficult questions, obviously. No. No. I mean, even if it's difficult, we, know, we, we try to answer. No yeah. bad questions. There are a lot of <laughs> negative uh, issues uh, regarding charity. Work. Yes, so, I mean, yeah. uh, we, I've been involved in the charity work for a long time now. So are they here, right? And, you know, we know what are the negativities. Inshallah, with BRT UK, we try to iron out all these negativities and keep these uh, at a very long distance away from BRT UK. You know, when people say, oh, these are just money-making schemes, money mishandled and this and that, it's not all charities. Yes, one or two charities must have done that in the past. Some charities have a huge admin costs and etc. Or justifiably so. But as BRT UK is purely a voluntary basis, we are all, alhamdulillah, got a full-time job and everything. This is what we have to do as Muslims. We have to go beyond the call of duty. We have to go beyond our normal nine-to-five job and serve humanity. And this is why we're here. Why I, we do I this think thing. it would be nice to find out about Anwar. Because the thing is, <laughs> yeah. Anwar has probably got a much more important story to tell Anwar. Go on. No, no, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean just to back up what Nazbai was saying here. Yeah. Um, I'm very new to BRT, you know, they've been established almost 10 years and okay. I'm, I'm we, we, we uh, captured in this. Okay. I know, what, what you need to tell the audience is how new are you to Bangladesh? That's very important. What's motivated you yeah. to join BRT yeah, well, UK? I'm, um, the, uh, okay, I'll start with the, what motivated me. Yeah. What happened was um, a friend of mine uh, who goes by the name of Nazrul, who's not here today. He's um, supposed to be by the way. <coughs> <Probably. Yeah. laughs> He, Hopefully um, he's watching now. Yeah, he is. He is, he is, he is. <laughs> about a year ago, I think he um, found out about BRT and he became a 
participant. So he was where I am now. Mm. And he took part in various projects and everything. And he ended up going on the uh, heritage tour, which yeah. is the footage we looked at at the beginning of the program. Mm. And then um, he, he really enjoyed it and the, the work they did. And he came back and to feedback, uh, you know, I asked him, because he posted so many pictures on Facebook and WhatsApp. I inquired and he was saying that, you know, it's a, it's a very good like charity, completely different from anything else he's known because it's like grassroots, everybody's like extremely hardworking and, you know, I've spent time with these brothers for the last few months and I've seen how it is now, you know, um, it's not like other charities. I mean, I haven't been involved in the other charities, but, you know, I can say that these brothers are very hardworking, you know, it's a grassroots movement. Um, Everybody's very hands on, you know, so um, hands on, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hands on, been <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, next week, uh, actually, this Saturday, we're flying out to Bangladesh, Bangladesh. again for the uh, heritage, heritage tour, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it'll be my first I think time in I only Bangladesh. Hear a lot of oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait for it, wait for <laughs> it. So it'll be my first <laughs> time in Bangladesh after uh, how many years? After uh, almost 22 years. After 22 yeah. years, you're so going... Last that's, time I went in, that's like almost what, 60% of your life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's only 23. Your age. Huh? He's only 23 <laughs> now. <laughs> you look completely different Bangladesh then. So, uh, yeah, Bangladesh is like Singapore at the moment. Yeah. As we speak, <coughs> Bangladesh is like Singapore. I'm sure yeah. his yeah. interview is very important. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In definitely. Bangladesh. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. My request, I want to see his interview, his reaction well, yeah. in Bangladesh. Shabai, yeah. we want you to come to Bangladesh with us. Yeah. I know you Inshallah. went to the High Commission today to get your ticket. <laughs> no, today, don't your passport, sorry. <laughs> So let's see. You are inshallah joining us in, in this heritage tour. <laughs> inshallah, yeah. inshallah at, let's see. At the one stage of our journey, we'll be in Silet. I know you don't like traveling outside Silet, <laughs> but we will be in Silet for a inshallah. very. We will talk about it. It's a very yeah. unique cause we'll be in Silet. Yeah. First time we're launching something, no one has ever done it before. Inshallah. We want you to be part of that journey. Inshallah. inshallah. By the way, I think the viewers, one thing we want to do is if you follow us uh, during our uh, tour, inshallah, from the. I would say 11th of February because we're living here on the 10th, basically. Mm -hmm. We will do, uh, you know, Facebook Live as well as uh, post uh, uh, post videos and things like that. So you're going to be able to hear Anwar in Bangladesh <laughs> after 22 <laughs> years, more than two decades. Can you imagine? Yeah, he, he, you know I'm that looking forward to <laughs> Every, well, Everybody tells me, you know, especially when I say I've, I haven't been there for over 20 years, they say, oh, you know, it's completely different now. It's, mm. but one thing I have to guarantee you, we have taken other twin, you know, people who have missed Bangladesh for a long time. Look, yeah. Nazu, Nazu, they, they, they go back. They come yeah. back every, every year. Again and again, they want to yeah. go back. By the way, do you know how many years after Nazul went last year? It was probably, I think, 16 years or 17 years. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who are probably watching this program, particularly from this part of the world. No problem. Take the opportunity to come to Bangladesh because Bangladesh is not made up of Silet <laughs> only for many of the people of Silet. You know, and Bangladesh is not made up of, well, when you go to Bangladesh, it's not uh, the Silla Airport, and then it's your Abbar Bari, and then your Nana Bari, and then you just do a reverse <laughs> and come back to <laughs> Heathrow, and it's all over, basically. There are, you know, 64 districts in Bangladesh, yeah? So Silla is just one, or Greater Silla is just four. Even Greater Silla Shawai, uh, if I was to ask Shawai, have you tra traveled, all, you know, all the no, four? No, I'm not. Most people <laughs> have it. Most people have it. How often do you go to Bangladesh? Uh, not really, you know. Uh, if I go this time, probably after last I've been in Bangladesh in 2009. Yeah. Um, so, so 10 years. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I am frequent flat. You yeah. know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the country is developing slowly, inshallah, it's getting there. It still has one of the highest. Yeah, GDP. Let's talk about constitution in Bangladesh. I'm not talking about politics. No, thank so God for that. Yeah. Because we're not the people we're not talking. here to talk about politics. It's a different program. Yeah, yeah. It's a completely different. Uh, yeah. uh, so, constitution means obviously uh, most of us uh, in in the UK, Bangladeshi living mm. in the UK, we think uh, Bangladesh is a poor country. Uh, with many people living in poverty. Uh, but what is the economy like at the moment in Bangladesh? When you say Bangladesh is a poor country, in the last 10 years, 10 billion pounds remittance has been sent from the non-residential Bangladeshi outside of Bangladesh to Bangladesh. So it's not a poor country anymore. It's had the fastest... Developing growth, country. Fastest growing economy in the world at the moment. You know, 6, 5, 6, 7 percent. So no other country, you know, other than, say, uh, Vietnam, Similarly, 
It's a very developing country. Yes, there are poverty because it has 160 million people in a tiny island like the UK. So obviously there's too many people per area and you will always have poverty. Bangladesh has, it's, it's fairly a new country, but unless we reconnect to our roots, keep investing in the country, taking people, educating them, that will bring about change. Politics and all these other things will not bring about change. Bangladesh needs education, it needs investment from outside. Us, people from the overseas, can actually be part of that regeneration of Bangladesh. Look, yeah. I, any, anyone who says... Can I read one comment? Yeah. This is really mm. fun. Faha Chaudhry, he said, love the Banglish Nazvai and Co. Banglish? <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> Banglish. Oh. Banglish, <laughs> I mean... We are in this country um, and we've got one leg here and one leg in Bangladesh. Bangladesh so yeah. that's why we like we to speak Bangladesh. We talk mixed. Bangladesh. Yeah. Bangladesh. 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 Bangladesh.
They're very generous people. The poor people are fine because I'm not a travel for Ibaka. Poorest people are the most generous people. There are other multimillionaires, they're not really generous. We are in the charity sector, we know. But unless you, if you go, because some of the recipients, you go to their house. Whatever they have, yes, that's fine. They'll yeah. give it to you. You know, they will make this nasta. You know, Bangladesh have pasta everywhere you go. They like to give you pasta. Yeah. And See, that's more in Silet though, because people can afford it. But other parts of uh, yeah. the country, it's not yeah. always a uh, you yeah, know. So pasta. they even try. And it's a cup of tea. They try to you know respect you, not because you're London or anything, but you know you are connecting to them. You're you're kind of addressing some of their needs. So, we are not there going to change the country overnight. We need more people to go there, kind of do the work that we are doing and contribute. If they can't physically go there, they can financially contribute towards our project. See what we are about. Go on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, some of vid videos are on YouTube. I mean, Instagram, whatever way, we are socially connected. Basically, social media, mm. you're involved, um, We're involved everywhere in social media. As I said, Shaba, you, last year we had Abdullah way. Yeah. And he's very passionate. Unfortunately, due to family situation, he couldn't go this year. So, hoping he, he will replace his, his place this year, inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> okay. Um, can you look at the work you do in Bangladesh? Uh, let's start with education. What sort of work do you have? Um, going on at the moment? Well, education is our strength. The, in, the, as a charity, we invested quite heavily in. Uh, we have in, built a women's institute in uh, a region in Bishnat. Yeah, I was going to ask you about first, this. First, okay, uh, Mohila on, College yeah. in Bishnat. It's on the Zogonnathri Road. You can't miss it. It's between Moinawend and Bagisa Bazaar. Those that are from Bishnat or Zogonnathri, <laughs> they pass that road every I've day. them from. And his, his, uh, where are you? I didn't ask him. He's from Sato. But a lot of people will see that. It's a flagship college in the, in the, in the uh, local village, so we can't miss that. So that's one of our projects. We've been f uh, supporting that for about five years, six years now. Yeah? Yes, that's right. And the other one, the most unique project, is the student investment program. We have you know, people on the ground. We go and seek out talented, but Poor, you know, Bangladesh, the people have so much ambition, but they can't fulfill it because of poverty. So, I'm going to say that educational needs are not taken over. So, I'm going to say that the people who are not going to be able to do that, they are not going to be able to do that. So, they can invest that elsewhere, whatever they need to do, the livelihood ways. But education, I'm going to look after that. Boys, girls, Muslim, non Muslim, whatever it is, if they are talented, and they have the ability to progress, Amra Tarare will look after the education needs. So that's a student investment program. Oktama Uni program. That's right. I mean, the thing yeah. is, one of the reasons why we call it investment, Shabai, because we, we are hoping for a return from that. Not to us, but to the people of Bangladesh, really. And it's a very long term based program. It's a bit of a dilam, and then that's it. And like the program on sites, Soto, but it's very quality based basically. So, what we want to do is our minimum goal is for every district of Bangladesh to have at least five students who we are supporting uh, from primary all the way up potentially to PhD level. So, we have a lot of ambition to have a lot of investment in they have like a doctor, barrister, engineer, teachers, we would be able to say that these are people that we built. Often when we are doing uh, supporting uh, educational work, uh, we start, but then we drift off because there might be money mm. issues, we can't follow up. This is why the program is small, but very uh, quality based. And inshallah, we hope not only to uh, cover Biotto Silet with all of the four districts, but to over time, to at least make sure that every district of Bangladesh has five students that have been supported by the Bangladesh Regeneration Project on the Students Investment Program. So that one day in 15, 20 years time, old men like us and some of our female members who are supporting and working with us can say that we were part of building this man or woman mm -hmm. for the people and place that uh, is called Bangladesh, which we are connected to. And this is how we believe strengthening our roots need to happen through practical, qualitative and intelligent contributions. 
Yeah, there's so much to talk about the right. UK. I can see that mm. there are other uh, few projects you are running. Mm. Well, you also you have another project to promote health. Before we go to uh, talk about more details, uh, let's take a short break. Okay. Um, viewers, uh, after the break, uh, we'll go to take a short break. At break, after the break, we'll talk about more about BRT UK, and uh, you'll see WhatsApp call number. You can call us um, in the studio. You can talk to these guys, what they're doing in Bangladesh, upcoming uh, event. I think. Sale, sale, sale. Massive clearance sale is going on from 1st November 2017. Salma Designer Abaya House is giving you up to 70% off on all Designer Abaya. 60% off on Designer Kaftan. 50% off on West Coast. 50% off on Islamic books. 500 gram Ajwa dates only for £10 and many more items. Visit our store to get this clearance sale. Salma Designer Abaya House, 118 Whitechapel Road, London E11 JE. Telephone 020 7018 2375. আমাদের কমিউনিটিতে কার্গো বিজনেসের প্রসার ঘটিয়েছে জিএমজি এক যুগেরও বেশি সময় ধরে জিএমজি আস্থার সাথে সেবা দিয়ে যাচ্ছে সস্তা বিজ্ঞাপনে প্রতারিত হবেন না জিএমজি বাংলাদেশ বিমান অনুমোদিত একমাত্র কার্গো সেলস এজেন্ট কার্গো সেবা নিলে বেস্ট সেবাটাই নিন নিরাপদ থাকুন জিএমজি কার্গো আস্থা ও বিশ্বস্ততার প্রতি Oasis Banqueting Hall Barking is East London's first choice for any occasion offering a range of services and facilities to suit your needs whether it's a wedding birthday anniversary or religious service 180 to 1000 guests you can trust us to make your event truly special Oasis Banqueting Hall Barking the perfect choice for your occasion for bookings call 0208 594 2222 PCO claims minicab driver or bipodor bondhu gari accident horiya jobless hoar din shesh just one phone call e PCO claims afnar e dite pare 24 hours recovery immediate replacement card storage and repair service 0207791779 Is it dad come back home? When a marriage breaks down, children suffer the most. If you are in this situation, we are here to help. For child and family matters, Kingdom Solicitors. সেল 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 সালমা ডিজাইনার আবায়া হাউসে ক্লিয়ার সেল পয়লা নভেম্বর দুই হাজার সতেরো থেকে সালমা ডিজাইনার আবায়া হাউস দিচ্ছে সকল আবায়ার উপর সর্বোচ্চ সত্তর পার্সেন্ট মূল্য ছাড় কাফতানের উপর সর্বোচ্চ ষাট পার্সেন্ট ওয়েস্টকোটের উপর সর্বোচ্চ পঞ্চাশ পার্সেন্ট পাঁচ শত গ্রাম আজওয়া খেজুর মাত্র দশ পাউন্ড এবং ইসলামিক বইয়ের উপর রয়েছে সর্বোচ্চ পঞ্চাশ পার্সেন্ট মূল্য ছাড় আজ আসুন এবং আমাদের ক্লিয়ার সেল অফার গ্রহণ করুন সালমা ডিজাইনার আবায়া হাউস ওয়ান ওয়ান এইট হোয়াইট চ্যাপল রোড লন্ডন ই ওয়ান ওয়ান জে ই টেলিফোন ও টু ও Hello there, Legal Taxi's mobile app is an amazing cloud-based taxi booking solution. The taxi drivers and passengers can access this application anytime and anywhere. Are you trying to call up a taxi? Well, don't waste your precious time anymore. And now, you can book your taxi at ease. Do you want to know how? It's so simple. Download the Legal Taxi's app from the App Store. Enter the location manually or drag the balloon where you want the pick up and drop to happen. Legal Taxi's application shows the taxis nearby. On a single click, your request is sent to the nearest driver. The taxi driver will receive your request and accept it instantly. In return, you will receive the notification and you could check the current location of the taxi with the estimated time to reach your pickup location. At the end of your journey, you will receive the receipt of taxi fare in your mobile app. 
Legal Taxis app not only allows you to book regular taxis but also black cabs, mini cabs and hackney carriages. Book your taxi today for a great voyage at Legal Taxis. Welcome back to the Shah Yusuf show. Uh, before we went to the um, advert break, uh, we said we would talk about more about LGBT UK. Um, one of the questions I'm going to ask you, you also have projects to promote health. What do you have underway here? In health? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Health, well, look, uh, Bangladesh has got a population of more than 160 million. Is uh, you know, any contribution by anyone as big as, let's say, BRAC or Grameen uh, is not going to solve that issue in a day or in a decade or maybe in a few decades. So BRT's contribution is like a drop in that ocean, but we feel that that drop is a very important drop. It's almost like, you know, when you walk onto the, onto the beaches of Cox's Bazaar and you see these starfish, they're all stranded on the shore. And Ayahia or Yusha Yusuf or, or mm. Nazirbhai or Anwar or everyone who's watching, if all of us pick up one starfish and throw it back into the ocean, we've contributed towards saving a starfish. With that same attitude, you know, we're not going to be able to say that, well, we're going to be establishing hospitals and mm. clinics. That is not our capacity at this moment in time. But so what we try to do, again, we try to invite people to look at uh, interventions in an intelligent way. So, for example, we're doing some work in, in uh, water and sanitation. Government schools in Bangladesh are many, alhamdulillah, you know. Uh, there is almost everywhere there's a primary school and it's a government requirement as, uh, as we understand it which is a great thing to ensure that compulsory primary education is available. However, the government's capacity to be able to maintain the facilities and services that the government provides is not always the same at the same level. And there are various issues that I am not an expert on. Maybe you may know, some of the viewers may be yeah. knowing much better. But one yeah. of the things that we're trying to do is we're, we're developing this uh, small but very high impact project, which is repairing uh, school water and sanitation system. So if the, if the latrine is been closed for the mm. last four or five years because there's no money uh, available for that or the tube well pump is now not working and there's no money to do that so we're, we're, we're actually can you believe it Shabai and Zara Dekhra Eirokom Khazo Beshi Lagle Amra Invest Khor Ram Doi Laka Shatone Dosha Zara Tekha which is about a hundred pounds a hundred pounds to impact a school with toilet facilities with drinking facilities uh, you know to help children uh, who, are, uh, who are studying in those places to have access to be able to use the toilet just like every one of us. The amazing thing is uh, people who live in this part of the world, God has blessed us so much that because we have so much, we find it difficult to realize uh, the blessing when we don't have it. Can you imagine if I was to ask you, Shabai, you have to say that 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 you have to yeah. electricity <laughs> yeah, the load shedding You understand? Yeah. We can't even think like that. This is the you know when we talk about our Allah Amra and Afdi enough. Subhanallah. Just to think that mm. can you come and mm -hmm. compare to Bangladesh where we go maybe one for two weeks and then suddenly we're sitting down and like guessing like, upon, upon yeah. like you know, it's almost like Kiamot has come, yeah. basically, where these people are living through that on a daily basis, particularly in places where there is Access to electricity is not consistent. And there are places in Bangladesh where they don't even have it. Still, people are living and surviving. Solar energy is something that's been used. So coming back to all of that. So, you know, like our intervention there is about saying, all right, there's the established toilet there. There's a tube well pump there. It's not been repaired. It costs about seven to 10,000 taka. All right, let's stretch it. In some areas, it might be 15,000 taka. BRT doesn't have millions and billions. We have some small amounts. Why don't we get our donors, people who are watching uh, this program right now, are our donors, and those who are not are also our donors, to say, look, you know, for this, this is high impact. Each school has maybe three to 400 students. They're all benefiting from these toilets and this, uh, uh, this water uh, uh, you know, facility. That's just an example of health contribution. Yes, Yahya could set up a hospital and say, uh, really, I don't have the ability. Nor does Nazibai, nor does Anwar. No, no, are, no, no are we, we interested have, in that. We have seen a few elephant projects. Yeah, that's, that's something else mm. too we don't want to go into. So that's an example of that. We also take part in uh, cataract removal operation work because we, we find that the investment is small, but the return is huge. The whole cataract, 
fight is pound for operation. But a fight is pound the horror story. Yeah, a BRT of my fight is pound and yeah, the azon manuja got to be so to retard sell out to a male to an atino shadow de sena, balatike. On the Afni de Bardison, or to act a boy for Tore, or to Allah Kitab the Al Quran, final Shorboshesh, Banis at Allah Fatison, Saraduna Manuson, like Octata Fortovare, or to was a act of full death tequila like a instant death for thirty five pounds. You understand what I'm saying? So for us, our budget is small, but that's very high impact. So we like to maintain and continue to continue. With a thousand pounds, a hundred pounds really, Afne. Asta e grammar, grammar at a school day of the change for that way after the field hospital of Lahan. So after it, I camp. I camp for you, after the second village yogi, I'm the setup for some harm with the you know, I'm a networker through there. That's it. Not an eye screening takiloya, I tatter operation for Rotara. Basically, they screen for up to five, six hundred people. Asta grammar, but I asked the grammar say, grammar, my issue, I thought I inspect for both. Here, by this, our next thing we look at after diagnostic, then after glass lag any glass lag, obviously, uh, glass or up to a certain amount of after glass of Taragasta and Tavaro within the budget. And then the final stage, you look at our coach, Loyadaiba, local hospital, or no operation for about up to about 30 35 operation for us, yeah. maximum. Yeah. And then <coughs> Tara return for you after back the bow. I hold say two weeks, ba, four weeks, but they have a follow up check. Part of that uh, thousand pound budget for your demand. So, yeah. to, um, ra, um, khorsi, aro, ar, inshallah, See, this is a very high impact. It's a lot of work. <laughs> we might, in, in well, Israel, we'd like to say we'd like to we, do more. I don't think we're not doing enough yeah. because of uh, the needs. I'm not a village of this Bangladesh has, you know, as I said, is a vast uh, needs. So, we can't cater for all the needs. And like I'm just, you know, where we at say, least you are trying. And we're trying. We don't want to. We don't want to step on other people's yeah. toes. We, as a collective organization, we said, look, if people are doing too well, rickshaw and whatever they're doing. Let them do it. We'll support it. If someone comes to us, BRT, we'll say, are you going to do a team well? We said, we have. So you're not competing with no, other charities. We said, we'll, rather working together. We will divert it to you know all the most charities we know anyway. The Bangladeshis are ham for that. I'm not same. You have to go through the same British High Commission or Bangladesh High Commission, and we. Meet them, so we we are very humble in our approach. We we want to encourage the growth of all the charities. There are some for even you know, Amra Rohingya. We worked in for the last year or so. Amra Rohingya. Yeah, let's, let's talk about Rohingya if you mm. know, because um, uh, as far as I know, uh, you have um, also been working to support Rohingya mm. refugees. Mm. What kind of work does this? Uh, can I take a call? No, why not? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Sama Kum. Hello, Sama Kum. Yes, I'm in the studio. Yes, I'm Nazrul. Oh, uh, Nazrul, bhai. yeah, go ahead. What's your question oh, yeah. for uh, BRT people? <laughs> BRT UK. Yeah, go ahead. Tell him, he makes sure he's yeah, ready uh, on Saturday. I'm part of BRT UK team. He's going to watch us. Uh, just called to say, um, uh, first of all, apologies, I couldn't make it. Um, you know, um, I've been involved with these brothers for over nearly two years now, and you know um, the work that they do, fantastic, back in Bangladesh. After you know, how I many went, years did you go back, Nazrul? Um, over fifteen years. It was. Yeah. Last year I went after and fifteen years. And on your way home, what did you discover on the way home? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> on us, what Can did you, you what did you discover? So here, on, basically. <laughs> Follow what you want to do, not for the sake. Okay. Now, what's the name of your governors? Yeah, Foilbag. Foilbag, okay. Foilbag, okay. So on the way, on the way to your body, uh, on the way to Zognatpur, what did you see? Go on, Nas, tell everyone. Yeah, tell everyone. Go on. Oh, <laughs> surprise, surprise that I got. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to VRT. Basically, there was a banner with my, with my. Um, Follow me. You know the typical stuff people do in 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 Bangladesh, where like for example, if someone's getting married and then they put like oh, uh, okay. with the gay yeah. in a okay, banner. Gay. So suddenly he sees that he's going to the Zogunath for Rasta. <laughs> this gay basically. All the gates. With his with his with his big gay on the road yeah. with his photo in the middle. His photo, <laughs> yes. Wow. And okay. welcoming him home. This yeah. is something different. Well, it was like a typical, uh, you know, like you want to experience a little bit of Bangladeshi. 
Uh, if you, what can you say? Like celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To, uh, you know, home country. You have to pay much. Then. But where is your right? If you if you just told me my name, I'm going to say like a celebrity. But for the region, I'm going to say like a celebrity. So he just gave me a bit of. He uh, must be famous in uh, his. Well, he's becoming famous yeah. now, inshallah. Okay, uh, go ahead. Nazo, tell no, us a bit. I just wanted to um, tell the viewers, you know, my experience in. 2017 you know um i never thought i would travel bangladesh all over bangladesh like that and not only just to travel but to be with the brothers you know the you know the the unity that we had uh, you know the banter every, uh, from a to z you know the whole journey everything was well, was so well catered for and you know we were so well looked after throughout the whole you know me you know, what 14 days last year mm. um no due to that i'm going back again with them this year yeah. <laughs> so Na- <Nazu. laughs> i'm sure you will have yeah. uh, more gates Nazu. Nazu. Nazu has yes, a protocol ma'am. please protocol from wrongful <laughs> wrongful to dhaka like <laughs> over two days Nazu, do you want to tell them about the police protocol <laughs> yeah I- Oh, Is um, it from BRT UK or you got it from no. your family? <laughs> no, no. We got it from the government, isn't government. it? Oh, all, okay. all provided by the government. Uh, you know what? Like, like, government. Lucky you. But I don't need to ask you that for the ones that are still there. We went to Shabai and Zara Dekhra. And you can go to BRT UK one on Facebook and see some of this stuff, basically, including pictures. Basically, we went to uh, the furthest north point, which is uh, Tetulia, yeah? Okay. Zero point. Right at the other end, basically. The extreme end on the north, okay? You, you know, you go through Rong, uh, Dinaspur, all of that is in that Takula, kind of belt, basically. You know, Uttar Bongohoin, Uttar Bongohoin, isn't okay. it? Yeah. Where people, a lot of people die because of the cold, basically. Uh, just to let people know. So we went to the zero point there. And then we went all the way down to St. Martin Island. And then next to St. Martin Island is... Another island called uh, Charadip, Charadip, which is connected to it. So it's like, and we travelled, I, I would say, around three and a half thousand plus kilometres on the road, basically. Just for St. Martin Island, we had to use the boat. Otherwise, it was a lot of road travel. And then, especially the north side, what happened was when the, when the local administration found out that we were foreigners, mm. and then uh, <laughs> oh, okay. when they found that we were foreigners, they made sure that we had a protocol from... Zero point of that side, almost, almost bordering Dhaka when we got back, basically. Mm. And the funny story is every Thana, the police had to change over, basically. And the amazing thing, again, this is, this is the beauty of so-called poverty within my life. So in some places, some Thanas had the police vehicles that were quite brand new. So they used to be able to go quite fast. In other times, the vehicles were quite slow. Yeah, so we, our vehicles were brand new. All, all kind of experience. Yeah, not only that, we hired very brand new uh, Voxes, I think they were like six or seven seaters, yeah? And the amazing thing is that we were to deliberately s- slow our speed down in tunnels where their vehicle was very poor, <laughs> well, basically. Yeah, so they went all the amazing way up, and all yes, the way down yeah, with yeah. us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you mm. know, like, you Do can't... Do you want to add anything, uh, uh, anything else, Nazru? No, I'm, um, you know, viewers out there that, you know, I won't get involved with this charity, you know, you can follow us on Facebook, you know, see the work that we're doing back this year, you know, um, we'll, we'll, we'll post, we'll do live, live, um, live Facebook, streaming as well, <laughs> inshallah, this year, so, you know, if people are interested, get involved, you know, um, us, you know, when we come back, inshallah, in March, the people want to come and meet us in person, they're more than welcome to do so. And, you know, make this charity bigger and better. Nazu, do you, remember, do you, Nazu, do you remember the food that we had in Bogura, in mm-hmm. that restaurant, where the, poli- mm-hmm. where the police joined us? We, you know, we had gila yeah, and, you know, and uh, you know, chicken's liver and stuff like that. Delicacies, everywhere we went, <laughs> Asia Vice, Asia Vice has the knowledge and then, okay. you know, of the yeah. level. Without yeah. him, uh, yeah. How is it going to be your tour? So Bogura, like Bogura is famous for doi, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's the Bogura and Bogura doi, wasn't it nice when we, when we picked up that yeah, but Then he, we went to a place in Rangamati, yeah? And they have sunga, sunga cooking. In a bar, in, 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 in bamboo, 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 yeah. bamboo cooking. Yeah. Inside yeah. the bamboo, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they, you know, the, the cooking was for a, a royal family. But That's how they, they do it in that place. The way basically. they designed and, you know, catered for it. Yeah. Unbelievable. But he like, I didn't really like it, but I just, <laughs> I just went along. I can it. see he 
like yeah. Yeah. I love to you know if you're going to learn to I'm swim very, then you I'm have very to jump fussy. into something new yes. I'm very fussy with what I eat because yeah. uh, my stomach is not that strong he has a wrestling match inside his tree yeah. he's trying something I new I mean he spent a lot of time in Bangladesh you know I think my stomach is battered like you know that kind of so thing so he, he kind of eats anything you know the Bogura story and I'm so careful and still I end up with the diarrhea <laughs> 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 Bogura, Shabai, Bogura's story is very unique whilst Nazul is there. Yeah. Bogura, you know in Bangladesh, there is a lot of food in Bangladesh. You have to eat lunch time or you have to eat lunch time. You have to eat lunch time. It's always exactly. going to be slightly, yeah. slightly cold. Yeah? So these, uh, we were... Yeah, you can say that in some sense. My people are eating. It's, it's a normal thing basically. Microbial is not going to be able to eat. Because we don't know when electricity is going to be available and not available. So the culture, if you're going to eat, you can eat lunch time. As well as Rando, Rando, you might have a nice, fresh, yeah, yeah. hot lunch. Otherwise, if you go later, the Lord, Duita, Tinta, it's going to become cold and oh. they've got no choice. Rice is the only thing probably Gorom Diba. Mm. So we went to this restaurant in Rongpur, run by some Tobliki uh, brothers, Brother, which okay. was quite nice. And uh, the police that were escorting us, they also came in with their guns and stuff. And we ordered Jomur uh, Gor Gila. <laughs> and uh, Liba and Ha and and stuff like that. And the amazing thing was, and these Tobliki brothers were very innovative. Tara de Hokalto. What they did was, they basically bought some small, you know, when you go camping, Suto Suto Sulamile, the Gesor, Odesha camping shop, to make basic food. So Tara Ota Duta Sulara said. And then the, the tray where the curry and the food is, is always continuously being kept warm. Okay. So it was an amazing experience in such a simple restaurant. Mm. Uh, having, you know, fed not only ourselves, there were about 13 of us, plus about another four or five police officers. <laughs> it, it, I think we spent maybe about 30 quid or, at most, basically. Anyway, but that was I'm the most sure memorable this experience. time you will experience. <laughs> well, yeah, so, well, uh, these are the stories yeah. I'm going to try. Am I uh, even uh, getting hooked up in Bangladesh? <laughs> you can't wait to just... No, no, no. Uh, I know it's not married, so <laughs> we, might, we, might, we might have a tribal marriage. <laughs> one of the first, first yeah, okay. BRT wedding. <laughs> yeah, you never know. How are you doing? Pandor Bonogi only sees the... Money for his, you know... Uh, on the on the on the mountains, basically. <laughs> they smoke like big bums, <laughs> <laughs> ladies in uh, Rangamati. I'm a bit jealous. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys have so much shall fun. I wish, fun. Shall Same I wish. time experience, yeah. fun and charity. That's work. the yeah, thing. That's this it. is shall uh, We were going to talk about uh, Rohingya work. We are. Go- yeah, yeah, let's yeah. talk about actually Rohingya work. Since yeah, since since yeah. in, in in you know what's, uh, what? What was the involvement? Just yeah, that one point. Rohingya. One point I want to make when we went to uh, Rangamati last time. Mm. We were seeing these Monipuri ladies, yeah? Like, you know, imagine Akhnar Dad, Yara Mar Dad. You know, generally, Bangladesh, Mohila Gula Bidikha, in the culture. I'm not saying that this is a halal haram issue. It's a different discussion. If men are not allowed to smoke, women are not allowed to smoke. Simple as that. There's no gender issue on that stuff, mm-hmm. yeah? From my limited understanding. But anyway, so you know, Gyadde Khaza is a Dolak Dadir boy, she's like about 80, yeah? 80 Money, yeah. she can't stand up. Smoke in a pipe. Or the money basur banal pipe. Our money, amra sairam maki. We start staring because they have. Yeah, amra the money amra badin jasi na dadi ta kora. Or to a betinte to bicharias ala ashra. And then you could see the gua, you know, the and they chew a lot of shupari. So yeah. the teeth was really nice. There was a nice line in her teeth. I can remember that. This is like 70, 80 year old, all the way up in in yeah. in, in, in in that part of Bangladesh. Speaking of that region, you know, we have more, almost a million people. Who are now stranded in 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 Tetnaf, if you like, in in Ukia, uh, the Burmese uh, Rohingya community, mm. uh, you know, for for I don't know what sin they've committed, but from what we can see, it's because of their own identity, their faith. This seems to be one of the biggest factors. But anyway, we have almost a million people that have crossed over to Bangladesh. It's been on every news channel, mm. you know, last year. They, uh, they, and we know that the Bangladeshi government has tried to respond in a positive way to assist. It's not easy to suddenly have such a massive influx. There are already unregistered Rohingya that live amongst the Bangladeshi community in all over Bangladesh, in particularly in that particular region, in the Chittagong. Uh, Bell, yeah, I mean, like. you were labeled it as a systematic uh, ethnic cleansing. Yeah, yeah. Know. So I mean, the thing is, this is this is the description of the injustice on those people. But you know, as Bangladesh, as people who are rooted in Bangladesh and the Bangladeshi them, so I think we are honored to have an opportunity to be of guest and a host to those people. And we know that uh, those uh, the, the charities that uh, have been working on the ground, the Bangladesh government has tried to organize this whole uh, uh, support going from other places, including the UK. 
So therefore, we know of many charities that haven't been uh, able to get permission to work there. We have been so fortunate to have got permission directly from the Bangladeshi government with our field partners there to actually work with the Rohingya community. So you know what happened last year? We had, mm. uh, I think, about five people, including one or two convert Muslims, who were very keen on wanting to go and uh, do, you know, be a, be a part of feeling the, the difficulty of the Rohingya community. We facilitated that piece of